Hey everyone, Kyle here, and in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how to generate more appointments for your business and the exact best strategies you could use to generate more appointments for your business using digital marketing, outbound sales, paid marketing and other marketing channels. So before I get into this, if you're interested in having me doing your digital marketing for you, you could go to my business, julymarketing.com, fill out the form and speak with me personally. So now let me give you the ultimate guide to generating appointments for your B2B business. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the exact strategies you could use. And first, let's talk about the six main methods you could use to generate traffic in the first place to start generating leads for your business. So number one is going to be outbound. Number two is going to be earned media. Number three is going to be paid media. Let me go ahead and erase this. Fourth is going to be owned media. Fifth is going to be word of mouth. And then number six is going to be partnerships. So these are going to be the six methods you're going to use to generate traffic for your business. And this traffic is ultimately going to turn into sales for your business. So let's talk about first outbound. So this is one-on-one -on -one communication to generate leads for your business. There are a few main forms of outbound. There is cold calling, cold emailing, DMing people on social media, and door knocking for outbound. And again, this is one-on-one -on -one messaging. There is other methods of one-on-one -on -one messaging. Those are just the four main ways of doing it. Next is earned media. So this is creating content to drive appointments for your business. And there are really four main ways of creating content that you could use to do this. So first there is creating video content. Second is creating audio content. Third is creating word content. And then fourth is photo based content. The third method is paid media. So this is paying to get your message out in front of people. And some of the most popular paid media sources are going to be Facebook ads, Google ads, and then more traditional forms of marketing like radio, TV, billboards, and even you could put real estate in here as well. But this is really pain to get your message out in front of people. After that, owned media we'll talk about is email marketing, SMS marketing, push notifications, but this is owning customer information where they consent to be communicated with. You could even say social media followers is another form of owned media, but this is when you own customer information that you could communicate with. Fifth is going to be word of mouth. So this is very obvious. If you provide such a good product or service, it can naturally grow from word of mouth. And then finally, six is partnerships. So this is when you partner with a similar business to generate appointments for each other, or you partner with someone like a content creator to generate appointments for your business. So let's talk about these other ones and let me fill out uh, just how to do this. So cold calls, cold email, social selling and door knocking. And then earned media is going to be video, audio, word, and photo. So let's talk about the exact strategies you need to use to set appointments with each of these methods. So the first one we'll talk about is outbound marketing. So really the strategy for this is you want to first, and let me go ahead and I'll open up a new whiteboard to show you guys the strategy for outbound. So now let's get into how to generate appointments with outbound. So this is one on one messaging. There are a few steps to doing this, but first you want to build out your ICP. So this is your ideal customer profile. Some people call it an avatar. It really depends on you, but you want to think about company size you're selling to. If you're trying to generate B2B appointments, if you're generating consumer appointments, obviously this doesn't matter. But building out your ICP is just building out who you're targeting. So first you want to think about things like company size, industry, location, and job title are the big ones for building out your ICP. Obviously, if you're doing something consumer based, maybe it is neighborhoods you're selling to, states you're selling to, but just building out a targeted list of who you want to approach. So let's just say, for example, we are a social media marketing agency, maybe we want to uh, target people from one to 10 employees that work in construction that is local to you. So let's just say Utah for me, and we want to target the business owner. That is an example ICP. Second thing you want to do is get the proper data. So there is a few things you need to think about. You want to get direct dial numbers, and these are numbers that are people's cell phones. You want to get direct emails, 
and social media profiles. And there are a lot of different tools. I'll give you some examples of ones I like. So one example for cold emailing is a tool called snob.io. This is one of the cheaper ones that works pretty good. And this is only good for emailing in LinkedIn. The next tool that works good for direct dial numbers, emails, and social media is going to be seamless.ai. They're a little bit better in pricing but they still have some good information. And then finally, the best tool, but is the most expensive is going to be Zoom Info. This is trusted by a lot of businesses. A lot of super big businesses use Zoom Info. You could again, get direct dial numbers, emails, and social media profiles. These are all different database tools you can use to search up company information. And like I said, those are three examples, but there are many other businesses you can use to get the proper data. But then after that, the third thing you want to do is send out 100 to 200 messages. And like I said, this is going to be calls, emails, or social media DMs, or door knocking if you're into that in a local type business. And really the exact framework you want to use for setting these meetings is going to be intro, value prop, and call to action. So all you have to do is have a quick conversation if you're doing something like cold calling. So Let's just say, for example, his name is Derek. You just say, hey, Derek, how are you? Once he picks up the phone, he's going to say, good, who is this? And then you could go straight into your value prop and call to action on a cold call. So my name's Kyle. I'm a local digital marketing business owner. We're helping other plumbers generate more leads and customers. Would you be open to getting a Zoom meeting for me personally to give you a free digital marketing strategy to grow your business? So you could do that over calls do it over emails and do it over social media DMs. But essentially what you want to do is just ask for the meeting and make sure you're giving them a good value proposition and reason to meet with you. And just like that, you should be setting one to five meetings per day if you have good resonance with your message and the message is hitting your target customer and they actually want to do work with you. So this is the exact strategy you can use for outbound prospecting. Now let's talk about earned media and paid media. So now let's talk about how to generate appointments with earned media. So this is creating content. So you could use an example like this video as a type of earned media, but really it's creating content, which is going to be video, audio, word, and photo. And what we're going to be doing is posting on all the top platforms for this. So social, search, and really that comes to SEO type blog posts, YouTube SEO, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, TikTok reels, Instagram photos, podcasts. There are many different ways to generate attention from content, but really there is two simple steps. And that is first is generating attention and linking back to your website. And then second is having a clear funnel that allows you for booking appointments. So like I talked about, you want to be generating attention on these social media platforms. And this is an example landing page you can build out that will generate you appointments from both earned media and paid media. So this is exactly the framework you can use, but all you want to have is a headline, a video sales letter. So just a video that sells your product or service. Then you want to have a subheading. And then finally you can book a strategy session. So that is book a meeting. And what you want to do is click on it and have a Calendly. So Calendly is a great software for booking meetings. And the great thing with this is you could tie it to a phone call or a zoom meeting. So it automates that whole entire process. So what this looks like, as you can see, I have a one hour zoom for my example and what you want to do, in this is you want to make sure you have qualifying questions in here. So for my business, it's pretty simple. Like what we do is we partner with investors to help them make more money and passive income. So really our qualifying questions is your available operation, operational capital. But what you could do is you could qualify it on four main things. You want to make sure they have budget. You want to make sure you're speaking to a decision maker. You want to make sure they need your product or service and you want to make sure the timing is right. So qualify for those four things and use this exact framework of having, let me go back to here, having a landing page that links up with a Calendly to have 
back on your website and have a clear funnel for booking appointments. So now that I talked about how to do with outbound and earned media, then there is paid media. So this is going to be a pretty similar framework, but essentially you're going to pay these marketing platforms to drive traffic back to your booking page. And again, you wanna have the same framework for a booking page, headline, video, and then link to Calendly. And paid media does not have to be that hard if you understand exactly what you're paying cost per click. And what I've noticed running Facebook ads is let me go ahead and open up another tab. But on something like Facebook ads or booking meetings, I was paying around a dollar cost per click and around a 3% conversion rate to booking meetings. So it was around $33 per appointment set with Facebook ads to generate meetings for my personal business. And now that you understand outbound, earned media, paid media, now let's talk about owned media. So this is, again, not too complicated of a subject, but essentially to build out your email marketing list or your SMS marketing list, you're going to have to generate traffic from another source like earned media or paid media, or it could pe be people who previously booked meetings with you. But again, you just want to send out email blasts or SMS blasts back to your Calendly page to book meetings through these links. And then finally, let's talk about the last two methods, which is going to be word of mouth and partnerships. So word of mouth is a great way to book meetings. All you want to do is you want to ask your potential customers or customers for intros to specific people who might help with your product or service. And that's all you really have to do. I wouldn't 100% rely my business on word of mouth. I think it's always icing on the cake for your business. But once you generate those appointments through word of mouth, it is an absolutely great way to grow your business. And then finally, the last one is going to be partnerships. So again, this is just like word of mouth. This is going to be pretty hard to be a reliable source of appointments, but you could always partner with other businesses that sell something similar. So let's just say you're a home builder, you could partner with a solar company or something like that. You could always look for partnerships. These usually what I notice come pretty organically from going to things like trading shows or working with other businesses, but partnerships are definitely a great way to generate appointments and it could either be driving back to website traffic or just get the direct appointment through that strategy. So this is going to be the six main ways to generate appointments for your B2B business. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe and comment any questions if you have them and I'll be sure to answer them in the comments below.